Hey, we have an interesting integral here today from MIT Integration B 2012. This was problem number seven. We're integrating from one fourth to one half. We have the floor function of natural log of the floor function one over x dx. Okay, where I wanna start with this one is dealing with the floor function. Particularly, let's focus on the input, this one over x. And I think it's gonna help us to see a graph. Okay, so looking here at a very rough graph of just one over x, we're not worried about the floor yet. We notice at a quarter, at one fourth, the start of our bounds, we're at four. Okay, plugging one third in here, we're gonna be at three and one half, we're gonna be at two. We're only interested in that region because that's the bounds of our integral. But then what happens with the floor? Let's see what happens if we look at one over x, the floor function. Well, what the floor does, it rounds us down to the next lowest integer, unless we're already at an integer. And so we can kind of look at this case by case, like in this region between a quarter and a third, all this stuff in here, like if we're at 3.5, 3.2, 3.999, all these values are gonna round down to three. And then similarly, the same thing is gonna happen in this region right here. Everything we're gonna have values like 2.5, 2.9, 2.1, and those are all gonna be rounded down to two. So that it turns out within our integral here, this input here is only two values. We're only looking at just threes and twos. So what that's gonna allow me to do is just split my integral into two. So we'll write it, we'll have, a, we'll separate our bound from one fourth to a third, because we have a value there for that. And then we'll have another one from one third to one half. So for this first one, we're gonna have natural log between one third and a fourth, notice everything is three. So our input here is just gonna be three for one over, for the floor one over X. And then in our region from one third to one half, everything's two. So very similar, we're just gonna have natural log, the floor natural log of two DX. Okay, and here, notice that these are just, this is just gonna be a number here. So when we get to the, we can figure out what this number is, the integral is gonna be very easy, but it's basically just like integrating one, we're just gonna have an X. So, so I think all we need to do to finish this off is just to be able to evaluate this, what's natural log of, what's the floor of natural log of three, what's the floor of natural log of two. So to evaluate this, all we need to know really is that natural log is really log base E. Okay, so like for, this of three, and then keep in mind e is approximately 2.718. So looking at like what kind of, what exponent we have to raise 2.7182 to get to three, well that's gonna be like one point something, it's gonna be a little more than one. Let's just say it's 1.2, I don't know. But remember we have the floor around this whole thing. So the floor, if we have the floor around this and we have the floor around 1.2, that's just gonna take us down to one. And then we can do the same kind of thing with natural log of two. So if we look at it as, log 2.718 to the two. Well, looking at this, this has to be less than one, because if, we, if it was one, it'd be 2.718. It turns out this value is approximately 0 0.69 something. Okay, but we have the floor around this. And so if we put the floor around 0 0.69, rounds down to the next lowest integer, the next greatest integer, and that's just gonna be zero. So if this is zero in this integral, this part of the integral is just gonna go away then we can just ignore this part because this whole integral is gonna be zero. We can just evaluate this first part. So here again, then we, this is just one. So we're just integrating from one fourth to one third of one dx. Simplest integral in the world. That's just gonna be x evaluated on these bounds. And we just have to figure out what is one third minus one fourth, get a common denominator, and it ends up being our final solution of just one twelfth. So that's it, MIT 2012. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.